guys, it's Megan. So welcome to the fifth episode in my Wreck This Journal series. And if you guys haven't been caught up with this series, I will link all of my Wreck This Journal videos in a playlist down below. But in today's episode, I decided to complete two pages from my old Wreck This Journal. And I finished the page from the new Wreck This Journal that we started last time. And unfortunately, I ran out of time this week, so I couldn't do the page that you guys voted on in last week's episode. But don't worry. I will be completing the page that you guys voted on next week, but I'm actually going on vacation tomorrow, so I won't be posting for the next week or so. But don't worry, I'll be back with the new Wreck This Journal as well as all of my other videos as soon as possible. And so yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the first page that I decided to do this week was to write or draw with your left hand, and I did this technique that I learned from Red Ted Art here on YouTube, and I will link their channel down below, but basically you just draw with both hands, and you draw a symmetrical design. So I chose to draw butterflies because, I mean, butterflies are pretty symmetrical, like, I mean, mine weren't because I cannot draw with my left hand, but I tried. And I repeated this so that I had a total of six butterflies. And you could make them bigger or smaller if you wanted to, but this was just like the size that I ended up with. And I mean, it was small. And I drew it on a separate piece of paper just because it lays flat and the, I had kind of a little bit of trouble with getting the book to lay flat. And so this is what I ended up with. And as you can see, the right side looks okay, but the left side kind of looks like crap. But that's, I guess that's the point. And so on the actual page, I drew out some clouds with my left hand, and then I colored in the whole entire background with my left hand. And let me tell you, this takes a long time. Um, I don't really know why. I guess it's just because I'm not used to it, and the muscles in my left hand, I guess, aren't as good. And once I had the background done, I took the butterflies that I drew, and I attached them to the page with a glue stick. And not gonna lie, like doing this took so long that I kind of cheated and I colored it in with my right hand. Like, as you can see, I like switched to my left hand for a little bit, but then I was kind of just like, screw it, and I just colored them in with my right hand. And here's how my finished page came out. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with it considering how much I was like not looking forward to doing this page just because I knew that it would not look good. And I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and like I kind of was dreading this page, but with that in mind, I think it looks pretty good. And the next page that I decided to work on was the hide a secret message in this page. So I drew Wednesday Adams and I colored her in. And this was just an image that I copied from the internet. I just looked at it and then drew it and then colored it in, you know. And then I drew these bottles with some random things in them, like an eyeball, a frog, a spider, some leaves, some like random potions, and a skull. And then I cut those out. And so I just glued my Wednesday Adams onto the left side of the page. And then onto the right side of the page, I took the potion bottles that I drew and I lined them up and then I used a ruler to draw kind of like shelves underneath. And then I attached the potion bottles with some tape. And so this is what the page looks like so far and it is definitely not done. Um, I still need to put things under the potion bottles, which if you guys have any suggestions of what I could put underneath them for the secret message, let me know in the comments below and I might use some of your suggestions. And I'm also going to create like a scene with glow-in-the-dark paint in the back so that when you turn off the lights, that's the other secret message is that it glows in the dark. But I didn't have time to do that this week. And the next page I decided to do was to actually finish a page that I started last week, which was fill this page with circles. And so I just drew Ariel and then I colored her in. And I glued her and flounder onto the page, and I actually covered the whole entire page with some packaging tape. And this was because the circles, they kind of kept falling off. And um, this is actually a page from the new Wreck This Journal, which is Wreck This Journal Now in Color, which I will be working on in these videos in addition to my old Wreck This Journal. And the last page that I decided to do wasn't very exciting, but I thought I'd show it anyways. And it's just the close the journal and write something on the edges, which I did this actually in the first episode of my Wreck This Journal. And this is the original Wreck This Journal, but I just didn't actually decorate this page. So I just colored it in just the same way that I did with the edges of the book. And I haven't decorated the rest of the page. This is really all that I did so far. And I also decided to use these four colors to go around the page on the like page where you write your name just because I felt like it needed a little bit something extra. 
So thank you guys so, so much for watching, and if you're not already and you'd like to be, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Musical.ly, and Tumblr, they're all Weller Megs. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!